It's great that you intend to fit your shower slide bar without drilling holes with Nivida Bohren. You'll be able to rely fully for many years on the Nivida Bohren shower bar if you stick to the following steps. As a base surface, any solid material is suitable, such as natural stone, tiles, glass, concrete, metal, wood and many types of plastic. Even with rough surfaces, what's not suitable, however, is painted, plastered or wallpapered surfaces. Your shower bar set comes with everything you need for fitting it. First, thoroughly clean the selected wall surface using this applied cleaning cloth. The surface should be completely dry before adhesive is applied. Pull the chrome cover caps off the end pieces and fasten one adapter onto each of the end pieces. Fit the end pieces into the shower bar. Now peel the protective foil off the adhesive rings on the rear of the adapters and then press the shower bar briefly but firmly onto the cleaned wall surface in the position you want it. Remove the shower bar from the wall again. The adapters are now prefixed. This leaves you with both hands free to pierce the adhesive tube with the key and insert it firmly into one of the openings in the first adapter. Slowly roll up the tube from the end until the adhesive starts to emerge at the check opening. Only then is the compartment on the rear of the adapter completely filled. Repeat this procedure with the second adapter. Now leave it to set for 12 hours. Please don't subject the adapters to any pressure or weight during this time. After 12 hours you can put the chrome caps onto the adapters. Mount the shower bar and put the chrome cover caps into place again. Hook in the shower head and you're done. If required, the attachment can also be removed just as easily, even after years of use, without leaving any traces. Use an adjustable wrench to slowly twist the adapters off the wall. A glass scraper can remove residual adhesive from smooth surfaces immediately and without leaving a trace. On a rough surface, it might be necessary to use silicon remover or acetone and a scrubbing brush to remove the last traces. That's all!